should have said hello. When? Sorry. No problem. When you saw me around, all my friends have left. So... Oh, I'm being such an idiot. I mean, he's used to these perky, giggly, posh girls, and I'm in there being rude and sarcastic and twitchy. What do I do? Sex. Yeah, but... But what? Go back in there, don't speak, and let your body do the talking. No. No? I'm gonna chat. Chat? I'm gonna get to know him. What a waste. You know, there's nothing sexier than talking. Uh, arguably sex, but... Um, let's talk. You've been here four years and you've never climbed out of the seat. What are we gonna do when we get to the top? Admire the view! To one night stands? Are we drinking to one night stands in the future? Because we didn't actually have one. Is it a religious thing? Not sleeping together. So unimaginable is it that someone might decline to have sex with you that it could only be explained as an order from God himself. Shut up. No, it's just a question. It's not far now. What number are you? 78. <laughs> Who's been sending you all those long, tear-stained letters we keep forwarding? Tear-stained? Tell me! That was Emma Morley. Emma Morley. I liked her. Uh, he's a friend from university. What friend sends that many postcards? What about this Emma? She's just a friend. Really? Emily! And then I realised I don't have any, any way of getting in touch with you. I thought she was funny. Mm. And that she liked you. Everyone likes me. Don't stop being nice, will you? What? I'm not much of a letter writer. Not like you. Your last one made me laugh so much. I'm in Rome, but I'm going to come back to London in September. There she is! Why are you still there? Some people work in restaurants. Not everyone works in the media. You wrote one play, um, And I know, I know, people didn't come, but... So what? You're not boring. No, I am. I am. I bore myself. Well, you don't bore me. You could never bore me. You're one in a million, Em. You know what I can't understand? You have all these people telling you all the time how great you are. You know, smart and funny and talented and all that. I mean, endlessly. I've been telling you for years. So why don't you believe it? Why do you think people say that stuff? Well, there goes rule number two. <laughs> what time does the seminar start? <laughs> oh, depends. How long will it take you to learn how to read? <laughs> There's that northern charm. What about me? I mean, um, am I any good as a presenter? Yeah, you're good. You're, you are. You're warm and funny and... I suppose some people might even find you attractive. <laughs> hmm. Before we became, you know, pals. I had a bit of a crush on you. Remember? Grad ball? If I close my eyes, I can still picture it. Oh, one night of love. Oi! Do you want to go down to the beach? Not a bit of a crush, actually. A massive crush. For ages. You coming? <laughs> Are you insane? Come on! So what happened to it? This crush. I got to know you. And then... George. I mean, I felt the same. I didn't write any poetry or anything, but I fancied you. I fancy you. This is my problem, is that? Can I help you? I fancy pretty much everyone. <laughs> Lovely Emma Morley. How is she? Good. New friends. Cultured evenings. But you're still friends. Of course. It's like you want me to still fancy her. Like it's a necessary condition of the cosmos or something. That I should always just be off to one side somewhere, twinkling away for you. Then I don't think that's true. You're not though, are you? No. You're squeaking. Yeah, well if I can't squeak with you, who can I squeak with? I think that you have it in you to be a fine young man. Exceptional even. I always have. You're funny, and charming, and lovely. And you're going to be exceptional. But you're not there yet, Dexter. You're a long way off. 
And I'm afraid the person you have become is not very nice. Oh, they're beautiful. Not for me. Pick up, pick up, pick up. That's been an unbelievable, unbelievably shitty day. Um, anyway, you have a great night. Are you television sex to make you? The very same. You know what they say about teaching, right? No, Dex. No, I'm not familiar. What do they say? Those who can, do. Those who can't. Take it. Fuck yourself, Dex. Jesus Christ! You're always drunk or off your face on something or other every single time I see you. Every time. Do you realize I haven't seen you sober for about three years? I don't even remember what you're like sober. No more martinis for you. You know, you've been through a lot in the last few years with your mum. I've tried to understand that, really, I have, but you're just not the person I used to know. We're not friends anymore, Dex, we're just not. I mean, we're Dex and M, aren't we? No, you used to make me feel good about myself, but now you make me feel like shit. Because here in the real world, I'm actually doing really well. All you ever do is mock it. Is that really what you think is going on here? Always him. We haven't seen each other in a year. <laughs> Are you laughing? <laughs> I was just imagining describing the day to my friend who I know would find it funny. What friend? She's called Emma. You're imagining regaling an ex with a story about how you nearly broke my nose. <laughs> no, she's not an ex. She's just a friend. An old friend who I haven't seen for years. It's one of the great cosmic mysteries. How it is that someone can go from being a total stranger to being the most important person in your life? So, how are you these days? I screwed up my career and screwed up with my mum. No, you didn't. Screwed up my friendships. I'm engaged. That's amazing. Congratulations. Oh. Oops. Every single day that I didn't see you, I thought about you. In some way or another. So did I. You know, I thought, I wish Dex could see this, or Dex would find this one, eh? I am so happy for you, Dex. I really am, but... But I kind of feel like I've lost you all over again. You know what happens when you have a family, your priorities change, and you lose touch with people, and... Not necessarily. No, it happens. It happens all the time. I mean, we should talk about it. What happened? Yeah, we can. Just later. I haven't stopped thinking about it. Ever since it happened. You and me. If you mock me about it, Dexter. Sir... I won't. No, I mean it. If you lead me on, or let me down, or go behind my back, I will murder you. I won't do that, Em. I swear. I, I really am so happy for both of you. Thank you. You know, it's St. Swithin's Day. What's that? 15th of July. If it rains today, it's going to rain all summer. What I'm trying to say is that you've had luck. So much luck. But you're an adult now. And... One day, things might not be this serene. The best thing you could do is to try and live your life as if she was still here. I don't know if I can. Well, you have to try. What do you think I've been doing for the last ten years? She loved you so much. Yeah, you couldn't argue with it. You made her so happy. So we have a birthday. And a death day. A day in which we're going to die. A day sly and unseen. Don't you love that? Imagine one selected day struck out of your life and think um. how different its course would have been. Think for a moment of the long chain of iron or gold, of thorns or flowers that would never have bound you but for the formation of the first link on that memorable day. 
It won't always be like this. Why wouldn't it do? I was going to change it. Time 